uh, you kind of uh, alluded right into my, or walked right into my uh, next question here. I, I've seen you do a ton of different uh, uh, video clips and, uh, you know, taking people through warm-ups and cool-downs or, or what looks to be, uh, like you said, that prehab or that, uh, that pre-workout type stuff. Um, you know, do you have a normal routine for warm-up or cooling down your athletes, um, or do you have any type of creative ideas of what you're using or, or how you're going about that? Uh, how do you set that up? Yeah, we, we, that's, that's one of the things that we really tweak, and I've I really said, you know, sat down and, and talked to, 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 to guys that are much better. At, you know, and I think that's, that's really important, too. You know, I, I think, it, 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 you know, when I go on, I've been doing this a long time, but I'm far from knowing everything. And so the best thing I do is I surround myself with really smart people. You know, and so I have people that I, that's a great luxury that I have, that I can pick up the phone or shoot an email out to some people and, and ask them, so somebody like a Mike Boyle or a Greg Cook or somebody that would know better than me or maybe, you know, I tell, I give them my scenario, here's my scenario, I got this much time, that's the best thing I can do. And one of the simple things that we've kind of implemented, all our groups will come in, so basically they know a lot of them come in, you know, a good five minutes before we're going to start, so as we're finishing one group, we have kind of a little auxiliary room in that room, they'll come in and go through a foam rolling process, which they, they've learned to love, and most of them they're actually lost without it now, and they're in there, you know, even in between classes and stuff, they'll come and see if they can kind of get some rolling and some other stuff in there. So we'll come and do a, just a real quick, you know, ABC kind of thing of, on, on the foam roller. They'll go through, and, our, and for our purposes, our activation process is we do Turkish get-ups. So all we do is basically a set of Turkish get-ups, basically three, three reps, you know, solid weight on each side. Then they'll come into the weight room and they'll go through a, like a bar complex warm up. So we, we're going to try to address uh, everything as far as movement goes, you know, pushing, pulling, rotating, everything. And then we'll start our workout with our whatever our Olympic lift will be that day. The only difference is from sport to sport, they're essentially the same. Is our overhead athletes? It'll be our throwers, our baseball players, our volleyball players, swimmers. They'll have a little bit, either a, a little bit more of a prehab movement. A lot of times we'll do that on the TRX of just, you know, W's, Y's, T's, I's, hugs, stuff like that, um, just just the kind of prehab considerations for the shoulder. So they're either doing that a lot of times right before or right after they do their get-ups before they come in the room, and it's literally going to take them, you know, three minutes, or, 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 we'll, or we'll do a little extra something at the end of their session. So generally that's kind of how, you know, the, they follow through there, but it's pretty uh, much across the board. So everybody that comes in is, is going gonna, is gonna to kind of go through that that whole deal. And that's something that I've learned uh, more and more, just, just kind of like I said, learning from, from people smarter than myself and what kind of makes sense, you know, if you look at it. And also what fits into our time. And Coach, you know, you've been in that situation where you're working with groups and times and practice times and classes. You, you know, there's, there's, there's a point there where you, you know, I may only have a group for 35 minutes. There are days when I only get, say, softball for 35 minutes, and I'm talking exactly 35 minutes. So I need to be able to say, what can I do to get the most bang for my buck in that time? And at, at this point, I'm not, even at 35, I'm going to do, the, you know, what I just went through right there. Then we're going to do whatever chunk we're going to do in the weight room, and then at the end we go through basically either partner the PNF stretch or we go through and just grab a rubber band a superman, and then they'll go through an, a, a set procedure for stretching hamstrings, groin, uh, quads, hip flexors, stuff like that. So it's it, you know once again it's literally a two three minute deal at the end. But that, that that's the stuff that the book ends, the beginning and end that I've that's changed the most I think over the last you know year and a half in our place, making sure that we do that and not uh, getting wrapped up and you know let's let's go deadlift and let's go squat. You know we we still will do those things, but they're not gonna. We're not going to do them at the expense of those other things now.